Hey guys, it's Magic the Joker from Kingdom 1628 coming at you with another video. And this video is going to be over what epic commanders to prioritize as a free-to-play player. Keep in mind, this is my list and what I personally did. Uh, if I had to go back and do it again, uh, I might change a little bit. But overall, I think this is a really solid list. And I think that from my own personal experience, I can speak on that this is solid. Right off the bat, I think Joan of Arc is going to be the number one expertise easily as a free-to-play player. I think that her first ability is absolutely fucking crazy. Her expertise is insane. Um, this ability, once you get to five or four marches in Sunset Cannon, is crazy. It just gives so much stats, so much value to every other one of your marches, and that's excellent. On top of that, to get to the expertise, that means that you have to go through five uh, skill ups on the Maid of Orleans and I think that is really good because gathering speed up by 25% is also awesome. So you have a champion that is great buffing allies, great Sunset Canyon, and a great gatherer. Of course you'll never set her up for gathering, you'll set her up with a support tree because you have other people that can gather as I talked about in my last video. You know, this is a pretty tanky ability, healing factor, you know, blah blah. Great, great great commander. I suggest it's the first one you expertise. Number two, coming up right behind her is going to be Sun Tzu. This is generally known as the strongest epic commander to ever grace this game. Rage regen, cool 10% damage reduction to give him some extra tankiness, and you know, the, the crown jewel of him is skill damage. He does AoE up to five characters, gets 50 rage per, and gives 20% extra skill damage. Insanity. Uh, this is a great expertise and should definitely be your second right after Joan. Your third is going to be Boudica. I know what you're thinking. Boudica is not the best commander ever. Why would you do that? Well, generally, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I started Britain, which means you start out by getting your Britain commander sculptures. And so you are only going to need a few skill ups to finish her if you want to get her expertise. And getting her expertise is fine. I mean, it's 400 extra damage factor. Both of these abilities slap. They're they're pretty fucking great. You know, go ahead. You know, it's only going to take like maybe uh, 120, 150 uh, epic sculptures compared to the rest of this list. So since you can do it so quickly, I suggest Boudica is uh, an epic commander that you'll expertise. After that, I suggest going for Herman. I think that his fourth skill is really, really good. And I use him personally in Sunset Canyon. And because his fourth skill is so good and you generally won't get this to five, his expertise skill is fine. I mean, it does a lot of damage, which is great. But mostly the fact that your uh, trigger chance goes up for gaining an additional 100 rage. Uh, it's important that Herman has this at five. So that's why he is number four on my list. Five is going to be Scipio. All of Scipio's abilities, save for this one, are absolutely amazing. And his expertise is pretty good also. Um, he's always going to be a secondary to Joan of Arc. And we've already talked about how crucial Joan of Arc is as a march in Sunset Canyon, especially. So if Joan of Arc Scipio is always going to be the march, you know, we want to fill out that march to be as efficient as we possibly can. Also, just like Herman, his fourth skill is incredible. Adding an extra 10% troop capacity uh, is, is in absolutely insane in Sunset Cannon. It's something that is very undervalued and is incredibly useful. Six is going to be Kusanogi. This is probably more of a sleeper epic commander pick. A lot of people really aren't on how good Kusanogi really is. Uh, to put it in perspective, one of the first commanders that comes into the kingdom on the wheel is Richard I. And Richard I has a massive debuff and his infantry. So not only do you have Kusanogi to counter with being archer based, but Kusanogi removes all negative and control effects every single time he uses his ability. This is a great addition to Herman or a great addition to YSG once you unlock him. Uh, so you're, you're removing the debuffs and then you're activating your secondary ability. You can run Kusanogi as a primary or a secondary. I personally run him as a secondary, but from what I understand, he's better as a primary. However, I cannot currently afford the purple stars to make him a primary. So a secondary, he will stay until later into the game, and then I'll expertise him. He's my current expertise uh, project, actually. And then I'm going to take him to six stars, and I'll put him as a primary for YSG for the time being. My seventh and last one that I'm going to be focusing on expertising is going to be Osman the First. I think Osman the First is an incredible nuking commander. He's always going to be a secondary commander, so three stars is enough. 
you know, get all four of your skills and you're done. The reason why you'd want to expertise him is he only has one bad skill and that's your second one. So in reality, if you're going to bring both of these skills to five, this is probably also going to go to five. Uh, his expertise skill isn't anything crazy. It's, uh, what, 250 damage. So it's actually on the lower end of most expertise skills, but at the same time, he does an absolute truckload of damage. You know, you're going up to like 1550 damage factor as an epic commander, and he gives an, ad an additional 10% troop capacity, which as I already said is pretty good. I use him as a secondary to my Ethelflaed, and I think that should be the seventh commander. You look at expertising. There are other epic commanders available, and I think they're all fine realistically, but I'm not really going to speak on them. I, I don't I don't see myself focusing on expertising them. If I if I had to do a quick list without any real uh, thought to it, I'd probably go as my my last few. I'd go Osman into Pelagius, Belisarius, and then Aluji. Uh, these just aren't the focus of my account. I'm not on a cavalry account, and then for Aluji, like I, I'm not really fighting in the open field. I know early game he's okay in Sunset Canyon, but it's you know it's not my style. So I'll leave it at that. I, I don't really focus on cavalry because cavalry are more open field commanders. And as you know, I am harboring a strong disdain for the open field. So that's going to be it for this video. Those are the epic commanders that I think are the order in which you should expertise. Uh, I might make a list of them later, like a tier list. But as of right now, I think what's really important is what you should expertise first. I think this is what you should expertise first. And this is what I personally did first. So I can add to the credibility of this list. I appreciate you guys. Uh, catch you later.